Every few years, a camera comes along that doesn't just raise expectations but completely redefines what's possible in the photography world. Nikon achieved exactly that in 2021 with the release of the Nikon Z9, a mirrorless flagship that proved the future wasn't about catching up to DSLRs, it was about surpassing them. Now, attention has shifted toward its long-awaited successor, the Nikon Z9 II, a camera that has the entire industry holding its breath. Rumors, leaks, and insider reports all point toward one conclusion. Nikon isn't working on a minor update. The company is preparing a revolutionary machine designed to challenge every professional standard that came before it. Let's take a closer look at what the Nikon Z9 II could bring to the table and why it's shaping up to be one of the most important camera releases of the decade. To understand how we got here, it's important to remember the legacy of the original Z9. That camera was a bold statement, an unapologetic demonstration that Nikon could still lead the charge in innovation. With a 45.7 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, blistering 20 frames per second continuous RAW shooting, and one of the most advanced autofocus systems of its time, the Z9 wasn't just another flagship, it was a game changer. Professionals from wildlife and sports photographers to filmmakers embraced it for its speed, reliability, and rugged build. Yet, time in the camera world moves quickly. Competitors like Sony's Alpha 1 and Canon's EOS R3 have since set new benchmarks in hybrid performance, while Fujifilm and Panasonic have redefined video capabilities in compact bodies. Nikon, rather than rushing to respond, has been quietly preparing something that doesn't just match these rivals, but seeks to surpass them entirely. The Nikon Z9 II is expected to be the natural evolution of a proven formula, refined with sharper engineering and forward-thinking design. When it comes to design, the Nikon Z9 II will likely build on what already worked exceptionally well. The integrated vertical grip, a defining feature of the original, is almost certain to return. It wasn't just about aesthetics, it gave the camera superior ergonomics, stability, and extended battery life, especially for those who shoot for long hours in challenging conditions. However, Nikon is expected to refine the overall form factor, trimming weight, and improving balance for better handling without compromising the solid, weather-sealed durability professionals rely on. One major area of expected improvement is the electronic viewfinder EVF. While the Z9's EVF was competent, competitors like Sony and Canon have since introduced ultra-high-resolution panels that deliver a near-optical experience. Rumors suggest that the Z9 II will feature a next-generation EVF boasting around 9.4 million dots and a refresh rate of up to 240 Hz. Such specifications would make for a virtually lag-free viewing experience allowing photographers to track fast-moving subjects or compose precise cinematic shots with fluidity and realism. The rear LCD is also likely to see significant upgrades. A fully articulating, high-resolution touchscreen would make the camera more versatile for hybrid shooters, vloggers, and filmmakers who need flexibility during dynamic shooting conditions. This adjustment would reflect Nikon's growing acknowledgement of the hybrid workflow. Photographers who also create video content and demand professional-grade tools for both. Under the hood, however, is where the real transformation is expected. The Nikon Z9 II is rumored to feature a new stack sensor, possibly in the 45 to 50 megapixel range. Nikon seems to understand that balance is key. Rather than chasing extreme megapixel counts, it's likely focusing on improving readout speeds, rolling shutter performance, and overall image quality. This new sensor, paired with a completely redesigned processor, potentially a dual-engine Xpeed X system, could drastically improve performance across the board. If these leaks hold true, the Z9 II may offer continuous burst shooting beyond 30 frames per second in full RAW, complete with continuous autofocus and auto-exposure tracking. That would make it one of the fastest full-frame cameras ever produced. But it's not just about speed. The camera's autofocus system is also rumored to receive a major overhaul. 
Nikon's current deep learning AF algorithm already tracks eyes, animals, vehicles, and even aircraft with impressive precision. The Z92 is expected to push this further with expanded subject recognition, stickier tracking, and dramatically improved low-light performance. Imagine locking focus on a cheetah sprinting across the savanna or a dancer twirling under dim stage lights. This camera could handle both effortlessly. On the video front, Nikon is reportedly making an aggressive push. The original Z9 stunned many by offering 8K 60p internal RAW recording with no external recorder required. The Z9 II is expected to go even further, potentially introducing 8K 120p video recording, advanced color science, and improved dynamic range. Such capabilities would cement Nikon's position as a serious contender in the professional video market territory long dominated by Canon's Cinema Line and Sony's FX series. Improved heat management will also be crucial, as 8K recording generates enormous thermal load. If Nikon succeeds in keeping temperatures under control without sacrificing performance, it could open the door to extended recording times previously impossible in compact mirrorless designs. Other refinements are expected to make life easier for professionals who depend on reliability in the field. Dual CF Express Type B car Hard slots will likely remain, but with even faster throughput to handle massive 8K files and high-speed bursts. Battery performance, already a strength in the Z9, is expected to see further optimization thanks to more efficient power management. Some leaks even hint that the Z9 II might support quick charging or USB-C power delivery, letting users top up the battery during shoots. Connectivity is another area where Nikon seems poised to evolve. With the increasing importance of cloud-based workflows and real-time transfers, the Z9 II could integrate faster Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and possibly even 5G capabilities. This would allow instant file uploads or live broadcasting straight from the field, perfect for sports photographers, news agencies, or documentary teams working under tight deadlines. Price, as always, will be a determining factor. The original Z9 launched at around $5,500, undercutting Sony and Canon's flagships while offering more value. Early estimates suggest the Z9 II could debut between $6,000 and $6,200, depending on the final feature set. At that price, Nikon would remain highly competitive, especially if it delivers the rumored sensor, processing power, and hybrid shooting upgrades. As for the release window, reports point to a time frame between late 2025 and early 2026. This would align with Nikon's typical product cycle and give it time to ensure production quality and global availability. Given the growing competition in the flagship market, Nikon will want to make sure the Z9 II launches as a polished, ready-to-dominate product from day one. Strategically, this release comes at a pivotal moment for Nikon as a brand. The company has successfully rebuilt its image over the past few years, transitioning from a traditional DSLR powerhouse to a bold innovator in the mirrorless space. The Z9 gave Nikon a huge credibility boost, proving that it could compete with and even surpass Sony and Canon in key performance areas. However, to maintain momentum, Nikon must continue evolving. The Z9 II represents not only an upgrade in hardware but a statement of intent, a declaration that Nikon is no longer playing catch-up but taking the lead. The original Z9 reminded the world that Nikon was still a force to be reckoned with. The Nikon Z9 II, if it delivers on expectations, could establish the company as the defining voice of the next generation of professional mirrorless cameras. As we approach its rumored launch window, one thing is clear, the race for the future of photography is about to get very interesting, and Nikon might just be preparing to take the lead once again.